Hello. I'm now. Hello, I'm Roger Sutton, editor in chief of the Horn Book, and I'm here to present Jordan Scott and Sidney Smith with their Boston Globe Horn Book Awards for I Talk Like a River, published by Holiday House, edited by Neil Porter. Jordan, congratulations on your Boston Globe Horn Book Award win. Thank you very much. What an honor. Thank you. I'm so glad you can be with us. Me too. Now, Sydney, let's give you yours and then we'll all talk, okay? Sydney, congratulations okay. on your Boston Globe Horn Book win for the best picture book of the year. Thank you so much. Oh, it's you gorgeous. <laughs> You must have been surprised when you won. I was because I forget about the odd eligibility period of this award. It was a huge surprise. Um, uh, I, I keep forgetting that we're eligible for such an award. Jordan, do you remember? I think we talked about this the day we, the day we found out about this and uh, it, it kind of blew me away. Yeah, same with me. It was it was it was shocking. A real uh, wonderful surprise. I'm never. Quite I think with all of the distractions, all of the distractions that are going on, and the and the um, global issues and everything at the moment uh, that the that the award was uh, given given out, um, uh, I think we were all sort of distracted, and it was such a lovely lovely uh, relief from from some of the things that are going on right now or were going on at the time and uh, just a, a, a great reminder of uh, some of the wonderful things that uh, that can happen. I would also hope that being good little writers and illustrators that you're deep into your next books anyway, right? This is in the past. Right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Working hard, I hope. Yes, we are wow. working. Yeah, we're working. I think we're working hard. Are we, Sydney? We are. I think we're working too hard. Really, we <laughs> needed that. We needed that reminder of of uh, of this award was just a a nice remi reminder for me. I mean, uh, Jordan can attest to this. I've been uh, just sort of torturing myself with my uh, a book that I'm writing um, and then uh, I've been talking to him about it and I've been sort of in the depths in the jungles really and hacking my way through and then all of a sudden I heard about this this award and uh, it was just an it just for me personally it was a reminder that you know I am capable and I am worthy of 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 such a thing which I often forget or neglect uh, to you know give myself enough credit sometimes. And this is a, a wonderful honor. Jordan, was this a poem before it was a picture book? Yeah, I think all, all, a lot of my books start that way. I, because, because this was my, uh, uh, my first uh, uh, children's book, um, I it was definitely a learning curve to I uh, figure out how how I could meld the the uh, genres. I, um, I needed to I, I I needed to see my own poetry in a different way, almost re uh, learn how to write in a sense. Um, I just to. The, I, I mean, the biggest shift was to, while I was writing, considering uh, Sydney's work and how to leave, how to leave space for uh, uh, like uh, the visuals. Um, and yeah, but it, it most definitely, as all my, as almost all my work, it started as a, um, as a poem. But you knew it was going to be a picture book as you were working on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did. Yes. And this is a dumb question for you, Sydney. But, mm -hmm. you know, obviously Jordan writes the poem. You create the pictures. But who decides how those things are going to work together? Like the, the, there's such a beautiful combination of 
spreads where you might have pictures, you know, there's bands of pictures, three of them going across on one. There's a fold out that comes as a beautiful surprise. How does that happen? Well, um, I mean, I can't, uh, I can take a certain amount of credit for it. Um, it's a lot of collaboration with Neil Porter, our editor, and uh, uh, talking back and forth and uh, running ideas uh, by him and talking with Jordan as well. Jordan's a text is, is rich with visual um, um, language. So uh, it didn't, uh, it lent itself quite well to illustration uh, and to be illustrated, but I, I think, um, I had a, a great time just just trying out different ideas and running it by Neil and Jordan and and trying to to um, um, approach it in a very um, impressionistic sort of way. So more about the the feeling of the of the narrator um, rather than uh, try to steal the spotlight from from Jordan's visual language. I I could uh, come at it from a different angle. I mean, when someone says um, you know, sh shining like a moon doesn't necessarily mean that you have to draw a moon. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. In fact, you should probably draw something else because that's already been taken care of. You know, the, the the reader already sees that in their mind. So, as a as a as an illustrator, you sort of have to question or uh, ask yourself the question of well, what's something else that's not been covered that I could touch on? And it a lot of it ended for? up being. Yeah, yeah, and and a, a lot of it ended up being the internal state of the character. Uh, really, was was uh, something that I I wanted to play around with with the medium and with the format. That double page, that that double gatefold that you mentioned, that was like a huge treat for me because I'd never done that before, and it was completely appropriate for the story and for that moment in the book. And uh, I remember the moment of of just sort of just dropping a hint to Neil, like, you know, when you're talking to your editors, you don't always want to like suggest expensive yeah. additions to the book, <laughs> but, but it just, it really would have, it really made a, a huge difference and, and um, really drove that, that moment home, that, that the very cathartic and very powerful moment in Jordan's writing. And uh, I'm so happy that that was able to happen. I was, when I went to pick it up again to prepare to talk to you guys, in my mind, it's a very horizontal rectangular book. And then when I pick it up, you know, it's almost a perfect square. Right. <laughs> but that's the effect that you get. I mean, you see the river all through this. Let me see if I can, here's this great, let's share this with our audience. It's not gonna be a great view, but. Here's the gatefold that we're talking about. Here's our narrator. And he, oh, it's too big. Brownie, we hold one end of this. <laughs> Jordan, what's it like yeah. for you? I mean, poets, you know, spare words on a spare page and all of a sudden your pages are filled with color. Yes. How does that feel? I mean, it, 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 it it feels uh, remarkable to be uh, uh, collaborating in that way, and also to have. It's it's always it's always a wonderful feeling for for, uh, for me to give up my work uh, my work uh, uh, to let it uh, go as it were and see how it it returns, and I think that. Um, uh, when I uh, when I write when I write poetry, I definitely have this in all my work. I have this kind of uh, rolling sort of uh, uh, cinema of of uh, uh, visual and colors while I'm writing. That's sort of part of my process and how I respond to language. Arranged in in this way on a page, but then to actually see somebody do that in such a beautiful way, it's a real gift. Um, and I think it's also 
changed the way that I approach the poetry in general, right? To, uh, to, uh, to see how someone can can take a can take a poem of mine and and visually um, in, in, interpret it or respond to it, and really make a a visual poem, as it were, in response. I love what Sydney said about how if there's a moon in the text, you don't need one in the picture. That Absolutely. The two together are creating a world. You know what's interesting is that it's it's um the 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 the, ch the child uh, 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 within the book uh, 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 sub uh, merging himself in the water. That's something that 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 for me is not in the poem. It's not part of the poem. It's not. It, it was never part of that uh, story from my childhood or. Uh, or something I even thought about while I was writing. But it's so uh, remarkable that that's where Sydney uh, uh, went with it, because that kind of Im that that kind of Im embodiment of uh, of the of the character's stutter and and the natural world that's. That's that's kind of ex exactly how it should be uh, represented. I remember when I first saw that, I was and I said to myself, "Oh, of course, of course, that's what of course that's what it is. That that kind of that real profound um, intimacy between uh, the way the child speaks." And the way the river moves, and just to th think about that on the on the child's skin and kind of uh, and, uh, uh, enveloping his whole body is is uh, like it's still it still is really something that's um, that's just so that's just so powerful, but also something that was not I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, which says which says so much about the the uh, which says so much I think about the the uh, 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 the real power of collaboration right in that in in the truest sense. Yeah, I'd have to agree. There are, well, I think that you writing writing and illustrating for for yourself writing and illustrating for yourself you could you, it's, it's almost like you're a little bit limited but within the the confines of your own experience and your own brain and then collaboration just kind of opens up those walls and uh, you can find yourself um, uh, find yourself you could discover all of these things that you would never have come up with on your own like none of that. I could never take credit for anything in the book because it was all came from collaboration. I would never say that that this is mine and this is Jordan's. This is all through um, Jordan and Neil and I. Like it would, uh, it was the power of collaboration that kind of. That well, and it's so it. seamless to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I see it and I hear it at the same time, as it were. The text and the pictures are don't really exist as independent entities in the reader's imagination, even though obviously that's what they are. Right. But you guys and the designer and Neil and whoever really did this incredible job of making sort of a third thing from the two of you, mm -hmm. the own unified thing. Yeah, the I'm aggregate. Sure that there's better language for that, but I'm not smart enough about art to, to use it. <laughs> but will you do it again? You're gonna do another book? You yeah, too? we're on. working on we're working on one right now. Yes. Can you tell us yeah. anything? Well, I don't know, Jordan. Oh, I, I yeah, I think we can. So yeah, I mean the uh, the story uh, follows a um, uh, follows a child and the relationship that that child has with his uh, 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 grandmother. Uh, or, or his Baba, as as the as the child describes her, 
and it, it, it's a story about their relationship that they have um, uh, with a, a food and worms and rain and yeah, gardening. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on uh, together at the moment. So more water too, good. Yeah, more water, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for being here today. I'm sorry we couldn't do this in person. I know Sydney's okay. been to our award ceremony um, and I hope we get back there soon. And mm -hmm. I hope to see the two of you there. Thank you Thanks. so much, it's like a huge honor. Yeah, I really, yeah, I, it's uh, such an honor and I really, I appreciate the, uh, the time that you've taken with our, uh, uh, with our book. Um, it's just a, it's a great honor and uh, that, uh, thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you all, congratulations once again. Thanks.